So, so here we are. Um, after the modifications are done, I've cut cardstock, folded it, laid it across, glued it down. I did put putty in underneath uh, to give it solidity and and make it solid, so I didn't have to worry about it when I'm moving it around. Um, also, if you look at the brain carriers, they have or not the brain carriers, the the Zeiss thirties. They have little platforms for the gunner and loaders to stand, so that's what I did there. I've also made the new gun shield, which is more appropriate to what they had on top of the S30. So this is what this looks like primed. I will go ahead and finish up painting her. Uh, let's see, that, that track goes there. So I will go ahead and finish the painting and get back but that's what this looks like after modifications are done it doesn't really take didn't really take too much effort it was fairly straightforward and simple um there you go hope you like it thank you much So here we are finished. Still have a little bit of detailing to do, but for the most part, that's it. Um, this is the Kumsmulitz modified to a Zeiss 30 and 156 scale for bolt action. Uh, it really wasn't that challenging of a project. Um, you know, just a little bit of fiddling here and there, a little bit of patience. The 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 artillery gun model, uh, the mount fits just fine. It drops in a, at a great spot. Hardest part was just taking the time to modify the Kumsmulets to to match what uh, did look like in in uh, in the theater. So there we go. I hope that that helps. It encourages folks to give it a try if you want to uh, modify your own kits. Um, Considering what we had, like I said, this was a decent kit to start with. Um, it wasn't the best, but it wasn't too terrible from Warlord. So now you can either field the Comsmolets or drive one of these things around. Thank you.